All right, in this video, I want to talk about how to do a bomb calorimetry problem. And just to kind of give you a brief overview here, a bomb calorimeter is a device. It, it can look something like this. You can make uh, small uh, bomb calorimeters out of coffee cups even. So, But basically, it's just a device that you put something in, apply heat. You know, you could put like a, a Dorito in it, um, apply heat, and you're going to measure uh, with calculation the change in temperature uh, from this thing based off the heat capacity which you determine in a separate experiment uh, from this thing to determine the amount of heat evolved or given off uh, from uh, from applying heat to this thing or from burning this thing and that's actually where we get uh, our calories from on the back of like Doritos bags or you know or any of your other nutrition uh, labels um, by applying heat to that uh, is where we we get that information so in this experiment or in this problem they're saying 35.6 grams of ethanol is burned in a bomb calorimeter, that's this thing right here, according to the following reaction, uh, this reaction right here. Um, if the temperature rose from 35 degrees Celsius to 76 degrees Celsius, and the heat capacity of the calorimeter is 23.3 kilojoules per degree Celsius, what is the heat reaction per mole? They're wanting to know the heat reaction, this is an important detail, the amount of heat that's given off uh, per mole um, if the of uh, this ethanol, so they're saying that they're putting 35.6 grams of ethanol inside this and heating it, and it rose from 35 uh, to 76 degrees Celsius, and the total heat capacity of this thing is 23.3 kilojoules. What's the amount of heat that's evolved or given off uh, by doing this reaction? And that's this is an exothermic reaction, right? Because um, it's heat being evolved. Uh, which kind of makes sense because if we've got a, you know, let's just say this is a candle flame here. Let me draw this. Don't make fun of my art skills here. And all right, and let's just say the flame of this candle is like 500 joules. If I'm going to evolve heat from this or take heat away or give heat off, that's an exothermic reaction, right? And that's going to be a negative number, 200 joules right I'm gonna take away heat if I'm going to add heat into this flame or into a system it's going to be a positive number right I'm gonna add 200 joules into that see the kind of the difference there that would make it 700 joules it would be higher that's an endothermic reaction this is an exothermic reaction so this problem is kind of talking about that um, quite a bit and I just wanted to give a brief synopsis of what that really kind of means so let's go ahead and solve this problem and it's done by using a formula here. The heat of the calorimeter is equal to the change in temperature of that calorimeter times the heat capacity of the calorimeter. And they give us both these things in the problem here. Um, they give us the change in temperature. They're saying it went from 76 to 35 degrees Celsius. So all we do is take our final temperature which is 76 degrees Celsius, Celsius, subtract that from our initial temperature, which is 35 degrees Celsius. That's 41 degrees Celsius. So we've got 41 degrees Celsius, uh, Celsius, times our heat capacity, which is 23.3 kilojoules. And that's going to be equal to, just plug that into our calculator here, uh, 41 times 23.3, 955.3 degrees, or uh, kilojoules, 955.3 kilojoules, right? Because our, um, this is actually 23.3 kilojoules per degrees Celsius, forgot to write that in, and these degrees Celsius are going to cancel out, we'll be left with kilojoules, left with kilojoules. Alright, so it's not asking for the heat of the calorimeter though, it's asking for the heat of reaction uh, from the calorimeter. So we know that the heat of the calorimeter is equal to the negative heat of the reaction, right, or the op opposite uh, of the re heat of the reaction. So in this case, it's going to be negative 955.3 kilojoules, which makes sense 
because it's an exothermic reaction, right? It's a bomb calorimeter. We're combusting heat uh, in this. So it should be a negative number, right? We're taking heat away, um, evolving heat from the system. So they're wanting to know what that is per mole. So it makes sense that this would be a negative number. So we have negative 955.3 kilojoules. Now all we have to do is figure out what that is per mole. If we, if we stopped right here, we'd have the amount of heat for every 35.6 grams of ethanol, but that's not what they're asking for. They want to know per mole. So all we really have to do at this point, let me change colors, uh, let me do maybe a yellow, um, is figure out how many moles 35.6 grams of ethanol is and divide that by the amount of, of uh, kilojoules that's in this. So we do now is 35.6 uh, grams of ethanol, which is C2H5, uh, OH, times for every one mole, and I'm just going to abbreviate ethanol here as ethanol instead of writing that out, you have, and it gives us this, 46.07 grams of ethanol. If, uh, if it didn't give us that, basically we would just grab a periodic table and add up, um, you know, we've got two carbons, so we'd add up the, uh, oops, didn't mean to open that up. We'd add up the value for carbon here, multiply that by two, do the same for hydrogen, add its weight up there, multiply that by two, um, add an oxygen and then another hydrogen, and that would give us the molar mass, which is all we're doing here. So I uh, just wanted to clarify on that. Um, oh, and then we're done. So that's going to give us the, uh, the amount of moles that 35.6 grams of ethanol is. So let's just grab the calculator here real quick, move this out of the way here so you can see it a little bit better. 35.6 divided by 46.07. That equals 0.772. So we've got 0.772 moles, which kind of makes sense because this isn't quite an entire mole. Uh, it's only, uh, an entire mole is 46.07. We only have 35.6. So that, that kind of makes sense, you know, inside, inside our brain. Um, so all we have to do now, and this is the final step, let me change colors for it, is divide the kilojoules, because we want our final answer to be in kilojoules per mole. Right? It wants to know the heat of the reaction per mole. Kilojoules per mole. Let me write that a little bit better. Kilojoules per mole. So we're going to divide the heat by the amount of moles. So we have 955.3 kilojoules divided by 0.772 moles of ethanol. Abbreviate that. Plug that into our calculator. Oh, and you know what? I almost made um, I almost made the biggest mistake that you that people make whenever they do these here. So we have negative 955.3 kilojoules you have to carry down that negative sign. All right, so we've got negative 955.3 kilojoules divided by 0.772 moles. That's going to equal a negative 1,237 joules. Negative 1,237 kilojoules per mole. We have three, three, three significant figures, so we'll just adjust that to uh, 1.24. Uh, the four because we're rounding the three to the four because of the seven times 10 to the three kilojoules per mole. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, thanks for watching. If this was helpful for you, please rate it so that uh, I know that uh, I'm doing a good job. Anyway, thanks for watching.